Okay, the next and uh, final thing that we need to do is add some content to our WordPress site so people will have something to look at when they visit. So you have a choice when you go into your WordPress dashboard. Go to the right tab and you have a choice between a post or a page or a link. A link is just for your blog role, so we'll be talking about posts and pages now. A post is a post uh, meaning that it cycles through your WordPress site. That means on the front of your site only your latest uh, content will be shown to visitors. Pages live outside that cycle situation and they're static. So generally they can't be used in RSS feeds and they're for things that don't change. Um, so for an example you would use a page for your privacy policy um, but yet if you were having a blog you would use posts. You might use a page for your terms and conditions if you've got something like that or an about us page, a contact page, help desk, all of those sorts of things are really well suited for pages. Uh, some people like to also build their entire site out of pages uh, using them that way um, or alternatively use the post and it cycles through so only your most recent content is shown on the front of the page so on the front of the website so you have to decide uh, what you want to use I'm going to for this example I'm going to say write post and I'll put in a title uh, so WordPress tutorials and down here is the text editor and you've got the choice between the visual which is the WYSIWYG editor or an HTML editor for those more familiar with code. So I'm just going to use the visual editor and just type in your post as you would normally. Now you can see that when we started typing we came up with this permalink and this is the setting for that structure that we talked about earlier. So it shows the name of the site, the category that it's being filed under which is my general category and the title of this post, WordPress Tutorials. And you'll remember that I set up my permalinks to show category and the name of the post, WordPress Tutorials. Now if you're not happy with that permalink it might be too long for your site or sometimes it might contain a lot of words that um, like and and a and the that aren't really uh, informative. You can just click this little button here to edit it uh, to save it to something else and then just click save. Now if I'm happy with this post, all I need to do now is publish it and you have the option of publishing it straight away, um, saving it to come back to later as a draft um, or previewing it to see what it looks like. I'm just going to uh, publish it and I'll click publish. Now before I do that I should tell you that you can also add in some tags you can also click other categories so say I wanted that in my general category WordPress and WordPress tutorials and if there's it's something exciting with your new post you might want to add another category and you can do that just by clicking this link there and you can also turn on comments and pings so allow people to comment on your post and ping the search engine so they come around and have a look at your site and if it's a private post you can put a password in to protect it. So I'm just going to leave that as it is and we'll publish this post. So I've pressed publish and I'll press publish down here. Okay, now we need to visit the site and see what the post looks like and we can see it here. WordPress tutorials, this is my first WordPress post, commented on it and that you can read more if you wanted to. If people wanted to make a comment they could use this part here to log in and make a little comment about my post. Whereas with a page um, that lives outside that cycle. Uh, so for example uh, a checkout page might live outside that cycle. 